Hey guys, uh, Planet Zoo gave us another screenshot today of actually the little train station here. So I thought we could kind of go over it a little bit and then I'll show you a little more piece by piece of like the Planet Coast. I will just go into Planet Coaster and I'll show you this Planet Universe style building that they're talking about. And I've noticed mainly on Twitter and from some of the more casual people, the ones that are kind of going to be joining this Planet Universe uh, here in the next few months. Um, there's a lot of people I've noticed that are a little bit worried about piece by piece, thinking like they're going to have to build every single building and every enclosure piece by piece. It's really, it's not like that. I, I don't want you to really be concerned with that. Like, I promise you, there are going to be in-game blueprints from day one. Frontier actually will build a lot of these different styles for you to use, and it's all going to be integrated with the Steam Workshop. So anything that I build, I can create in a work in a blueprint, and you'll be able to use it in your park. Um, there's going to be lots of pre-made stuff for you to use. So I, I definitely wouldn't be scared off with the piece by piece. That is more for like a little bit more of the uh, of a step up from the casual player what what when they're saying piece by piece is they they want to make sure that the little bit more hardcore players are act, are able to design exactly how they want to because they know that this type of game it just wouldn't lend itself to take the kind of like the Jurassic World evolution pro approach where everything is just pre-built buildings and you just kind of plop them down that really doesn't work in the Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo universe. So really, like I said, I would not get too worked up. I'll show you here in a minute the, some of the things that what we'll be seeing in Planet Zoo via Planet Coaster. And I'll show you some of the menus and the wall pieces and stuff. And uh, so, yeah, what they're doing is they're just kind of broadening all different spectrums of design option for us, you know, like... I am going to be doing a lot of custom enclosures, custom buildings, custom train stations like you see here. But um, a lot of you guys, that might not be your thing. You you might only be concerned with the animals and, and plopping them down and creating the enclosures. And train stations may be the last of your worries. And I'm sure what we're looking at right here with this blueprint, with this train station, it's going to be in the game. We'll be able to plop this down, no problem. So... One of the first things I kind of noticed here, um, right when they tweeted this out, I was at work earlier today, but was the really cool little, almost like Disney-esque light posts here. I really like the the large white, the, the large white bulbs. Looks like it's got some really interesting iron work here. Also notice the wall mounted style. Really, really cool. And they continue these from the bridge all out uh, in front of the train station. I've also noticed how this really, really awesome glass roof piece. We did not start out in Planet Coaster with glass at all. And uh, this to be already incorporated and it looks like it has the, the really thick frames. I'm not sure if those are individual piece by piece or if this is an actual like, you know, glass wall set where those, it looks like as far as like the little support, little support lines here, that I think these are all separate little pieces and you won't actually have to place the glass down and then frame it in. I'm thinking maybe these are all together because even look at this right here, they wouldn't have you, I don't think they'd necessarily have you make this like webbed pattern right here. So I'm thinking this whole box is one piece you'll be able to put down. Um, really, really nice looking wall set, almost in the vein of the Ghostbusters pack wall really really like that texture down here almost because we have some maybe some <laughs> i want to say they look like purple sunflowers kind of just spread out over the front of the uh front of the facade here and one thing about this too and you might have heard me mention this in a couple videos before this is this was all developer created right here and you know not to put down their creators but a lot of times the stuff that the, that the devs come up with just putting together real quick for a screenshot a lot of times it just it doesn't look too great if I'm being too harsh uh, it's like sometimes I'm like I wish Bo would just like reach out to me with the new pack and be like hey S. Dan Wolf here build us this African hut real quick so we can show it off in a screenshot but these guys like whoever did this right here compared to the planet coaster screenshots and some of the buildings we used to get this looks really awesome 
So that gets me really hyped up with what we're going to be able to do. And point being is what I'm saying is the developers don't have the time to sit here and really design big extravagant train stations and look what they've already done. So, like I said, with all of these buildings back here, just imagine what we're going to do when we have hours upon hours to sit here and actually be a part of this and, and play this unrestricted, you know, not on a time limit, not on a Gamescom show floor, not on an E3 Twitch stream. This is going to be pretty, pretty neat. But uh, then, of course, we've got the train track running through. We've got the little janitor down here cleaning up some trash very very trashy paths got this uh looks i want to say some kind of hedge really really fine clipped hedge we've got the little ball hedges up there we've got the little lion kind of awning statue really really cool interesting looking pine tree and uh yeah so i don't think i'm missing anything way out of the obvious like i said just quick little train station screenshot today but what we're going to do now is like i said this is more i know the planet coaster people are probably going to be rolling their eyes but if you're out there and you're thinking about getting planet zoo thinking about pre-ordering it i'm going to show you we're going to flip over here in a sec to planet coaster and i'll kind of show you what they mean with the piece by piece building and kind of give you a little better idea of what the menus are going to look like and how you actually place these down so Hold on one second and we'll take a real quick dive back over to Planet Coaster. All right, guys, now here you can see in the Planet Coaster example, this is pretty much how Planet Zoo, um, we're thinking this will work out. Basically, same type of menu, same type of UI down here. And see, I've got, on the, I've got the Buildings tab clicked and then we are in the Wall Pieces section and this is kind of what they're meaning this is where we'll start out at like say you want to build a little door to a um i don't know a, a zookeeper shop see every little piece it's piece by piece so this is kind of what they're meaning you get your little base down maybe you want to i don't know maybe maybe make a second level to it Every and you can even go off grid as well. Like if you click done right there, like we can even make this little piece stick right there. Done. You can go back. Kind of. Well, see, actually, you can click on this back piece again. There's a little edit button. If you want, maybe some double windows on this side. And see, it's all. Just little piece by piece. And if, you know, they've got like, okay, here's a window section. Little stucco window. And see how I'm moving it? All, like you can, you can literally place it wherever you want. But like we also said, don't let this, um, you know, essentially don't let this frighten you. Because just like with Planet Coaster, See this right here, the My Blueprint section? Click on it. And then here's all kinds of stuff like I've built. Um, see, I've got a little, uh, a little toy store here, a little 1950s toy store. It all comes pre-built. My little uh, teddy bear that has seen some things or, or maybe on some kind of edible. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, all this stuff, it'll be on here. Like this is my little shark statue that I did for the water park. These guys will settle down in a sec. See, so all of this stuff, Planet Zoo is going to have, um, you know, it, it's going to have, um, uh, Steam Workshop support. This is the little fairy tale shop, little set of shops I built, and one click and you'll have this at your fingertips. So, like I mentioned, if you're more into the animals and the designing the enclosures, stuff like that, it doesn't matter. People are, it, that is totally fine. We will have you covered. There's lots of people that'll have you covered um, on the, uh, on the, on just regular random uh, scenery pieces like wow man has an adventure uh, like a little adventure chairlift station um, see it plop down 
See, there's all kinds of little neat, weird, cool stuff out there. But if you want to go the piece by piece, right here's one of Woody's, like, uh, this is like Woody's abandoned tram. Is that not awesome? So this is the type of stuff you'll be able to build and save. So yes, it's piece by piece, but we're talking that they are going to pump it full of blueprints. And I'm even sure the community within the first week, you'll have massive like, you know, Animal Kingdom style restaurants or lodges. It'll just be absolutely insane. So like I said, don't let the piece by piece scare you. They're just giving a lot of design options to some of the more hardcore players. And, and, the, and you know, when you feel comfortable in starting your own little restaurants and staff buildings and stuff, uh, it will be there for you to try so anyways guys yeah i'll go ahead and jump on out of here don't let me know what you think down below about the uh, about the piece by piece building system and essentially bringing that planet coaster vibe over into planet zoo and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up with all this planet zoo news and uh yep i will catch you in the next video thank you see you guys <laughs>